let's discuss five helpful tips to improve your Grasshopper workflow. Often you'll find a new component in a Grasshopper definition, but it's not always obvious where it's located in the Grasshopper toolbar. If you hold down Ctrl, Alt, and then click on a component with your left hand mouse button, a collection of red markers will appear on the Grasshopper canvas to show you where the component can be found. Locating a specific component's geometry in Grasshopper can be hard if your definition gets quite complex. Luckily, there's a zoom tool that helps us locate the geometry related to any component. Simply select on a component, then right click on an empty spot in the Grasshopper canvas and select zoom, and you'll be zoomed in to the, ge the component's geometry straight away. Sometimes you want to use the data being output from a component without relying on previous components in the definition. If you create a data container of the same geometry type as an output, you can plug it in, then right click and select internalize data. This breaks any parametric relationships and stores the data in this component. The component can be reused or even copied and taken to a new Grasshopper file. Grasshopper algorithms can get messy very quickly and it's easy to get lost in the sea of wires and batteries. So it's important to organize your definition in a way that you or anyone else who uses it can easily understand which parts of the definition are serving what purpose. The easiest way to do this is to group your Grasshopper components based on a function they might serve by selecting them, right clicking somewhere on the Grasshopper canvas, and choosing Group. You can easily name the groups so it's clear what the function of any group is doing. You could right click on a group, and then just type in a name. The sketch tool is a handy tool to leave notes for others in your Grasshopper file. Just click on the pencil icon below the component tabs and start drawing. If you're handing your Grasshopper file to someone else, it might be helpful to leave them a few tips explaining your definition. Hopefully you found these tips useful and you can introduce them to your own Grasshopper workflow.